almost all the religious institutions of this world are losing their hold on people because they're not sufficing the needs of the people. The people today don't want a mystery. They don't want empty ritual. They don't want thoughtless religion because that's not religion at all. They don't want the societal norm based off of an interpretation that isn't sound intellectually. They don't want something that's unscientific and unproven. They don't want to be told, just believe, right. without having some sort of substance, some sort of tangible reality to hold on to, and something that makes logical sense. They are being asked to be really unnatural, and this is not a generation of people on the planet that want to any longer exist like that. They've seen their grandparents. They've seen their pa parents. They've seen what that irrational, illogical um, teaching produces in a community and in a family. It creates hypocrisy. It creates self-righteousness. It creates self-destruction because we begin to not be able to lean on an interpretation of a dogma that doesn't focus us on the symbol or it doesn't focus us on the substance. It focuses us on the symbol and never gets to the substance. How many generations from Jesus are we now? How many generations from Muhammad are we now? Peace be upon them and all of the worthy servants of God who gave us scripture. But the scriptures are all signs pointing us to a reality and a change that would come. And we have to understand that this generation, as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has instructed us, is born for the Messiah. They are not the generation that will continue to just go along to get along. No, they want to know, do better and be better, but they want reality. They want to understand. They want substance, not just told that's the way we did it. So we're going to do it that way. Well, what if the way it was done doesn't make any sense? They are not illogical. They're not irrational, but they are deprived of knowledge. But their nature tells them something's not right here. Something is off here. This doesn't add up. So Islam is mathematics and mathematics is Islam. Not Islam, a religion from the East that started 1400 years ago. That's, that's not Islam. Islam is the nature of Allah's creation. It's the nature even of himself, which is peace. And we get that peace by submitting to do his will. But his will is natural. His will is logical. His will is systematic. And we have to learn of him so that we could be in obedience to him. And it's easier to obey if we understand. And we've been deprived of knowledge and made really ignorant so that we could not be in tune with our nature and understand our nature. Why do you think so many of us and our people hate mathematics? We hate science because we don't see how it connects to the reality of our existence because we've been taught the separation of church and state, the separation of religion and science and mathematics as if it is not one source to it all because those in power benefited from knowing that as long as we could be split in our personality, loving God, having a nature that is scientific and mathematical, but being disconnected from the reality of that science and mathematics, we could never truly access true peace because we would be not only discomforted and disquieted, but we would be absolutely distorted in our perception of reality, causing us confusion and trouble.
And that's the reality we see today. And that's the reality that's being broken today because this generation no longer wants to just get along as their ancestors did. They want something better and are willing to unplug from all of it until mm -hmm. something better comes. And we're blessed because what we have is not just what is was not just something promised to come, but it's the reality that it is now in the world. That's why we see the change taking place. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. And we have uh, and I first.